Hi, I'm Victoria, and today I'll be teaching you all about my cobot. A cobot is a collaborative robot which works alongside people. My robot works alongside a robot my teammate made in order to search and identify a blue object. Our idea was inspired off of robots that work in disaster zones to search and identify people. Usually we build our robots from the ground up, however this time we wanted to focus more on the programming, so we bought a kit for a spider bot, which this shell is. Usually we use Onshape, a CAD program, in order to design our bots. I actually used it in order to design these elongated legs. We also, for the hardware, used a Raspberry Pi for the main programming structure. We used servos for the joints and an Arduino for the camera. The language we used in order to program this was Python, and our first step was to program the actual mechanics and the servos of the bot in order to move the legs and turn on command. Next, we created a master controller, which would send commands to the bot through Wi-Fi, and we reprogrammed the camera's algorithm in order to specifically center on objects that red is blue. The last phase was programming the camera in order to take a picture of the object and send it back to the master controller where I could see it. The results we were looking for was for the spider bot to search for the object, find it, take a picture of the object, and then move out of the way so that the transport bot could bring a first aid kit to the object. However, during testing, we encountered many mechanical and programming problems, such as servos breaking, we have 18 of them, the camera struggling to connect to the Raspberry Pi, or the bot overshooting its turn while trying to move towards the blue object. One of the complicated problems with overshooting was that we programmed the camera in order to calculate the distance between the center of the camera and the center of the blue object. But the turns were already set um, due to our previous program. And so oftentimes it would accidentally overshoot if the distance between the ball and the center of the camera was too small. What I learned over the course of this project is that having a lot of different moving parts means a lot of different things can go wrong. And you should also give yourself a lot of time in order to complete big projects like these. It took us about a year in order to design, build, and test this. Um, and finally, always recharge your battery because if it dies unexpectedly, it can corrupt your SD card. <laughs> in conclusion, I was able to get my bot in order to find and take a picture of the object. However, I was not able to get it to smoothly work with the transport bot. If you want to learn more about our designing, planning, and testing, you can see our page on Facebook, ChampBot4. Thank you for joining us.